kabayan o oh, welcome back ulit dito sa aking channel. Uh, in my last video, natapos ko itong pagkukulay ng floor plan using the hatch. Uh, ngayon, uh, papalitan naman natin siya ng mga actual image ng mga floor tiles para mas maganda ang presentation ng floor plan. So, ang first step natin ay magda-download tayo ng mga images ng tiles galing sa internet. So, punta tayo sa internet. Uh, dito, nandito na ako sa Wilcon, Wilcon site. So, katulad nito, ito yung 600 by 600 mm ito. I-click lang natin ang image. So, i-download lang natin ito. Ka Save image as. So, uh, download lang natin. Uh, 006. So, tawagin lang natin itong ano, uh, floor tile. One. So, meron na tayong isang floor tile. Balik tayo. Hanap pa tayo ng ibang tiles. Mm. Balik tayo sa number 1. So, download natin itong tiles na to. Tatlo. Come on. So, save image as. So, floor tile 2. Balik ulit tayo. Mag-download lang tayo ng mga nakakailan na floor tiles. Save image as and call this 03. Ito, tapos na akong mag-download ng mga images ng tiles. Bali, meron ako ditong 10 different uh, kind of tiles ngayon ito ang gagamitin natin sa pag uh, render na ating floor plan step number 2 na tayo magkikreate tayo ngayon ng drawing tapos i-insert natin yung images so punta lang tayo sa file new just okay and F7 ulit hindi natin kailangan ng grid save as natin file, save as kahit sa ang folder nyo ilagay pwede this time na 006 Name natin ng floor 01. Yung mga dinownload natin, ito yung mga dinownload ko, floor 01 to 10. Yung file ng drawing, pwedeng katulad ng ng name ng tiles kasi ito naman images magkaiba siya ng extension name kaya gawin natin yung floor 01 yung pangalan ng ating drawing so save now we will insert the image so let's go to xr xref so, mag-pop up ngayon yung XREF uh, Manager. 
click down lang dito and attach image then uh, choose lang natin yung mga images so magsimula tayo sa 01 floor 01 open kailangan sa hindi, hindi ito nakatik uh, para one, one lang yung scale nya ito naman sa insertion point nya just ok ayun close lang natin to then zoom extent okay so after inserting we will scale this up by to 600 by 600 mm uh, itong image na ito hindi masyadong maganda kasi may border siya na white pero okay lang uh, i-clip na lang natin mamaya uh, create muna tayo ng layer new layer Let's call this tile. Tile. Asan tayo ng color? Red. Double click para maging current. Then, drawing tayo ng line. Line dito. I Offset lang natin ng 600. 600 mm. So, ito yung magiging size ng ating tile. 600 by 600 mm. 600. Now, scale natin ito para mag-fit dito. Sa 600 by 600. Pero bago natin scale to lagyan natin ng reference kasi hindi natin sasama yung puti. So, ito, usod muna natin somewhere dito. Kasi yung, sus, if we fit natin na yung mismong size ng tile. So, move din natin dito. Then, gawin tayo ng line dito. As our reference. Okay, so scale, scale, pick the object, then sundin lang natin to, uh, specify base point, base point is dito, sa corner na to, then scale, Specify scale factor or copy or reference. Now we will we will press R for reference. Detail. R for reference. Then click ulit dito sa sa base. Then click dito sa reference na to second reference. Then we will drag to this corner. Then we will erase this part. So yung ating size ng tile ay nandito sa red na ito. So yan ang ating size ng tile. Then just save. and close so nakagawa na tayo ng isang tile so gawa pa tayo ng isa pa for another example so just uh, click new again file new just ok and press F7 again then, insert naman natin yung pangalawang tiles. 
oops let's save this first file save us so we will do the second tile so floor o2 and save then uh, xr OLED for xref and click again dito sa image attach image then choose floor o2 then just okay and close this zoom extend e for extend here you go here is the tile this time ito ay mas maganda dahil wala itong border na na puti yung malapad na puti so mas madali itong i-scale so create ulit tayo ng layer tile and same thing uh, color is red double click to make it current so line tayo dito line F8 to make straight line offset 600 mm lagi tayong mm of fillet 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 then scale a little natin to ng 600 so scale pick more name base point then type r enter click ulit yung base point this time ito yung reference natin then drag to this corner now our tile is again 600 by 600 so let's just q save be this be be this qs your favorite uh, command qs for q save then close okay so uh, ituloy tuloy lang hanggang magawa yung sampu 10 tiles 10 different kind of tiles ang step number 3 natin ay we will insert a drawing file with image into our floor plan. So let's create new. Uh, new. Then save us. Uh, see. Let's call this floor plan. Floor plan. Floor plan. Floor plan. First floor plan. First, oh man, first floor plan. Dahil ako ay mayroong base floor plan, uh, I will insert it to this file. So, xref again this is how I insert my file always i always use uh, xref so click uh, drawing attach drawing and my so select of the file with the the base file 
So this time, this is my base file. First floor. Okay, so here is my floor plan. Uh, let's press F7 to get rid of those uh, grids. This is my ground floor. Now we will insert those uh, drawing files with image back to xref or xa for xref attach this time xa x attach so let's attach those uh, those drawings with image so this is the one that we have saved let's insert all the 10 i have downloaded 10 images and put in the sep separate drawing files so open so all the tiles are here so this is number nine this is number nine this is number where is it eight move this should be number seven this should be number six Yes, number six. Move a bit. It should be number six. Check. Oh, number five. It's number five. Move this one. This number four. Move this one. This number three. This is number one. This number two. And this should be the one here. This is number ten. Oh man, number ten. Ten. Nine. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we have 10 different uh, tiles. Okay, let's name that. Scale point five. So this one is explode. This one explode. This time is zero one. Scale two. So this is the zero one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten, zero nine, zero eight, zero seven, zero six, zero five, zero four. Zero three, zero two, and one. Okay. You save. This time, this one has the border. So what we have to do here is to clip. So the command is X see x clip 
and select the object then new boundary rectangular then just create a rectangle and the border the white border is gone and this one is okay no border so this the size of this is 600 by 600 there so yan ang ating tile we can rotate this let's say we will put this in the living room so let's just copy this and lay it down here and copy copy wrong so just copy and copy until it's full then copy 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 yep 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 yan meron na tayong tile one more copy copy over there yan then dahil nakapatong hindi makita yung mga implant Click lang natin to and right click and go to draw order and bring to front. Yan, nakita natin yung wall. Dito sa mga ganito na lumabis, i-click lang natin yung object in tile. Then just grab this and drag over there. Yep. Okay, mas mabilis kung i natin to. Then, panibagong copy. Copy, 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 copy. There you go. Done. Similar to this, just grab and drag. And drag and drag hanggang matapos drag yun pwede dalawa drag yep there you go Yan. So, meron na tayong tile, tile pattern. Mas maganda ito kaysa sa hatch. Then, after that, tapusin lang natin tong buong plan. Okay. So, ito. Natapos na yung floor plan na lagyan na natin ng tiles. Ito sa living dining. Wood yung ginamit natin. Ito, itong tiles, uh, number 007. Ito naman sa kitchen ay 004. Ngayon, kung maisipan nyo na kung medyo hindi kayo nagagandahan dito sa floor tiles ng living and dining, let's say gusto nyo palitan ng nitong stone, uh, 00 number 6. Uh, punta ka lang sa xref so palitan natin ng so itong itong tiles na inilagay natin ay 01 makikita natin dito yan floor 01 ito yung ating floor 01 kung gusto natin gawing floor 06 itong stone so ito ay floor 06 kung gusto nyo gamitin ito I-click lang itong 
floor 0, 01 then punta lang dito sa xref punta lang dito sa save path tapos i-click itong dot na to uh, palitan lang ng ano ng path so i-click lang yung 06 so ito yung 06 dito then open and it will be automatically changed to the the one that you choose which is 06 kung hindi pa naman kayo nagagandahan ulit gusto nyo pang palta ng iba let's say 02 so yung 01 ay palitan ulit natin ng path so this is 01 Gawin ito ulit natin 0, let's say this one, 0, 2. Click lang yung number 2, open, then, ayan, nagpalit na ulit siya. So, maganda rin gamitin itong uh, image para sa pag-render ng floor plan. So, balik tayo sa original na number 1. So, ito ngayon ay number 2. Palta natin ng sa original na number 1. Floor 1. And it will become floor 1 again. Ayan. Ito yung balik tayo sa original na inilagay natin. So, ganun, ganun press din dito sa ibang tiles. Papaltan mo rin, mo rin lang yung, yung save para mag-change siya ng, ng tiles or finish. So, punta na tayo sa printing. Close natin to. Uh, punta na tayo sa layout. Then, insert ulit natin yung ating title block. So, xref, xa, xa is attached. Punta tayo sa ating project. Hanapin natin yung title block. Uh, TBA4. Mm, just okay. So, ayan yung ating title block. Adjust ng konti ang viewport. Viewport, kailangan ay laging non-printable. Depth point. Close. Tapos, rename ito. Rename. Uh, A4. Kasi A4 yung ating title block. Then, always page setup. So, modify. So, yung sa previous uh, videos natin, ginami, meron na tayong setting na standard plot style. PDF natin. Tama na yung size, A4. Uh, window, pwedeng window natin. Ulit, ulit. So, page setup. Modify. Standard plot style. Drawing to PDF. Tama na yung size. Window. Click. Click. 1 is to 1, center, landscape, then OK, close. So, oh, we forgot one thing. Balik tayo sa page setup. Modify. Ito lagi. Pag ito ay nakatik, ay... Ang ipapakita sa atin ay yung 
actual na magiging print as PDF. Ito ay dapat kung naka dapat lagi naka tick kung gusto niyo makita yung uh, how it will become in the print. So display plot styles. So okay. Okay. Yeah, so ito yung magiging print natin. Oh, may nakalimutan i-adjust dito itong kasi nilagyan ko ito ng hatch para ma-cover eh hindi pwedeng ganyan ang kulay. Ah, uh, limutang palitan. Magiging black kasi yan pag pinrint. So balik tayo sa page setup. Page setup. Ang ini-assign ko doon na kulay ay 254. So, modify. Edit natin to. Ang assign ko doon na kulay ay 25, I think 253. Let's try. So, change this. Select color. Index. And two five three. Okay. Close. 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 Put the viewport. Then region. Oops. Click one is two one hundred. Maliit. Zoom 1 over 75 XP. Yan, medyo lumaki. So, 1 is 75 tayo. And lock. There you go. Regen. So, parang mali yung na-click natin. Buksan natin itong floor plan. In the floor plan to check so ito yung nilagyan ko ng hatch uh, to check uh, wrong layer so isolate change the layer not wall hatch it's hatch cover that's one I use that's ang kulay nya 253 save and reload and excerpt compare just check Yan, ang kulay niya ngayon ay hindi na white, na hindi na siya magiging black pag ipin rin, ngayon ay gray na. Napalitan na yung kulay, so ito yung magiging final print sa PDF or sa printer. So let's continue printing, plot, continue single file, okay, then let's press print floor plan save and here we go so ito na yung ating na render na floor plan so ito na yung ating dating floor plan yung last video Ito yung rendering, puro mga ordinaryo hatch lang. Then ngayon, pinalitan natin ng image para sa may pakita yung mga floor tiles. Napakalaki ng pagkakaiba dahil mas maganda yung uh, actual uh, image ang ilalagay na para sa rendering ng floor plan. 
So hanggang dito na lang po at uh, sana ay may natutunan muli, muli kayo sa aking video. Hanggang sa susunod na video po. Uh, salamat sa inyo, kabayan.